Hey guys, I'm Laura Candy McCaskill, author of Fallow and Her Keepers, and today I am here at Share the Moon Sanctuary with Courtney, the founder, and we're in Waynesville, North Carolina, and we're going to meet a couple of people here. <laughs> wanted to rescue animals for a while and um, we knew Charlie was going to need a home. Uh, he was being cared for by a friend of ours and we knew he needed more land so we started looking for property at that point. Mm -hmm. But that was two years ago so it took us it took us a year to find the property and then it took us another couple years to get everything. <laughs> ready to get Charlie here. So we had everybody else here pretty much before him. Oh my goodness. When did uh, Share the Moon start? We um, incorporated last March, last 2021. March. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how many animals do you have here currently? Uh, right now we have eight. So Charlie would be your oldest member or your um, puppy? Broxy. Broxy. Okay. She's 14. And who's your newest member? Our newest actually is Papietta, our third chicken. Aww. Um, she actually, we got Charlie and then our little pigs and then Papietta all within a two week period. <laughs> so uh, we doubled our animal numbers pretty, pretty quickly. That's pretty easy to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Why did you start Share the Moon? We really just wanted to have a space where we could offer refuge to even just a few animals in need. Mm -hmm. um, rescue some from the food industry. Um, like Owen would have gone to slaughter if we hadn't taken him in. Yeah, we just wanted a space where they could come and, and be a cow or be a pig and you know not worry about what would happen to them. Mm -hmm. um, and, and feel love. Yeah. And it's a nice, I feel like, I want it to be kind of a sanctuary for people too, to come and um, just hang out and feel the love back from the animals. So tell us a little bit about the residents here. Um, well, like I said, we have eight residents. We've got Owen, uh, our farm pig. He's about six years old. We've got two other chickens, Henny and Wheezy. They were rescues from a farm store. Um, and then we have our two little piggies, Zoe and Greta, who were from a hoarding case in Kentucky. Uh, they're about a year old. Um, and then Charlie is six. He was born um, to a dairy mama on a local farm. And usually they feed those babies into the food system too, but he somehow was different the farmer thought he was more curious mm -hmm. about people, and so they kept him as a pet initially. Um, and then they rehomed him with a friend of ours for a few years. So um, he has always been around people. And then Papietta, um, our newest chicken, she had been a neighbor's chicken. She was the last of her flock. All the others had gotten either attacked by hawks or dogs. And um, she actually came out of our woods over there showed up one day where she heard the news she I mean <laughs> it was like how do I get in here like she was running <laughs> along the fence but she had flies just all over her and she had a 
giant wound on her butt with maggots and hell. So um, I got the neighbor to surrender her to us and I got her cleaned out the wound, got her to the bed. So are you taking in new residents right now? Um, we are, we actually have another seer coming already. Um, so Charlie will have a friend. Um, he should be coming soon. And I've been looking for a friend for Owen for a while and it's hard to find a single farm pig. So if someone knew of an animal in need, how would they contact you? What's the process? Um, they could email me at um, Courtney at sharethemoonsanctuary.org or uh, we are on Instagram and Facebook. They could message me there or through our website. Okay. And um, what are the guidelines for an animal in need? Um, really? <laughs> there are none. That's yeah. what she's saying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right now we have to kind of slow it down a little yeah. bit because we don't have really a lot of volunteer help. And mm -hmm. it's just me because Bobby works more than full time so that I can be here. I hear you. Um, I got a husband. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. So it's kind of getting to be a lot. <laughs> for just me to care for, especially with, um, you know, health issues with, the, with some of the babies, but if someone wanted to volunteer, you do take volunteers? Yes, we are at the point where we will probably need regular volunteers. Okay, and how yeah. do they apply? Um, they can just message me, again, through the email or Instagram or Facebook. Okay, and if someone wanted to donate? That would be awesome. <laughs> we, we welcome all donations. No donation is too small. Um, they, we have Venmo, PayPal, um, and there's also a donation link on our website. Okay. Um, they take a pretty big chunk, I think, of the donation. On your website? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so it's probably better just to do Venmo yeah. that way. Or if anybody wants to do have like a Facebook um, fundraiser, like for their birthday because oh, yeah. you know that they don't take any fees for that um, okay. and we also accept checks and cash <laughs> <laughs> write those checks out so you do accept visitors we do um yeah by appointment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that'll be on your website yeah what would happen if, if you came for a visit um well i usually just start out by introducing people to, to the different animal areas. Um, we don't really take people in with Charlie just because he's a giant uh -huh. with, with a weapon head. Um, <laughs> weapon head. His <laughs> horns can be pretty scary, um, but he loves scratches. So, um, um, and if there's a, a particular animal that people wanted to just sit and hang out with, that would be fine too if it gets snacks and if the piggies ever allow belly rubs <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they're gonna get we're there working soon. on that we're working on that all right well thank you so much for having me over and for introducing me to everybody here I love them and uh, we'll see you next time <laughs>